Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to more Tales of Zestiria. This is another little small recording session, so uh, let's see what happened last time. We became the shepherd, not much I know, and then we like went to sleep and then woke up and now they want us to like meet him somewhere. For some reason, Mikleo's right here, so let's see what he wants. I don't want to say it, I just want to talk to him. How can I speak? Uh, sorry for all the trouble. Not even. What's done is done. Don't worry about it. Alright. More importantly, you've been zonked out for three days, so I'm guessing you're a little bit groggy. Uh, take it easy for a bit, okay? Bullshit! I'm the shepherd, let's go! Be hungry, kind oh. shepherd. I'll fix you up something at once. Thank you, sir. But I'm actually stepping out for a bit. Oh, really? Who's? Well, then I'll get it ready for when you come back. Don't worry about the bill. It's the least I can do for the shepherd. Really? Thank you so much. I'll be back in a little while. Well then. I like how the save point had to pop back into existence. Where the hell am I going to go now? Because <laughs> I really don't know where I'm going. But, man, this game is kind of cool. After last time with the giant cutscene... Oh, what's happening now? Oh, it's just the camera sleep. Oh, right, she's like the fire spitter or something. I guess it's still pretty early in the morning. You alright? I just felt strange all of a sudden. Like a weird pressure was crushing down on my chest. You didn't even, like, put your what? hands up or anything. You can sense it already? What you're feeling is the malevolence all around us. Now that you've become my vessel, you can sense it. This is proof that your body has already grown accustomed to my power. You don't say. You mean there's really that much malevolence out there, even beyond the city? Indeed. And this is only a taste. As people start to crowd the streets, you'll feel it even more. Come this way. Just a taste. So all the people see nothing except for like me talking to myself. <laughs> it's like the funniest like, I don't know, it's inter I guess I just follow her very slowly. Can I not like just press the, oh, I can't press the map, okay. Said no controller. Where, where am I, I guess I'm not too far if I'm going to walk this slow. Come on, uh, what's her name again? Like Layla or something? I can't, I can't use any of the buttons. Okay, cool. I'm just going to run all the way. I want to see if she's like, is like, hey, wait for me or some shit. No? Um, I can't press literally anything except for pause. <laughs> does it actually pause? Yes, it does. Okay, let's not do that. She just walked right through me. Oh, okay, she's pushing me, guys. We're on the train. <laughs> ah, I love this game. <laughs> yes. Yep, we're going in. Oh, she's over there. How'd you get so far ahead? My train. Wait, I can't move. What happened? There we go. I gotta go to my train. Oh, there's a chest. Can I get this chest? Chest is locked. Aw, oh, what about this one? Haha! -ha. Amber staff. Whoever uses that anyway. Do do do. There she is. Oh, good scene. Oh, man. A bunch of black dots what everywhere. A gorgeous lake. It truly is. But amidst the spectacular scenery. The town of Lady Lake is being corrupted by malevolence. Yeah, now that I can sense it, I can feel the corruption everywhere. We can't let this go on. It isn't just happening here in Lady Lake either. It's eating away at the entire world. The scenery may be splendid, but you can feel that this place lacks the blessing of the Seraphim, can you not? Yeah. In Elysia, I could always feel Gramps' blessing, but here, nothing. But Lila, this little walk of yours isn't just to reconfirm the situation in Lady Lake with us, is it? You've got something to tell us. Yes, I touched on it before, but now I must clarify to you. The true purpose of the Shepherd. Kill everyone. That's your purpose. The Shepherds can quell the Hellions, beings who bring chaos to humans and Seraphim alike, with the power of purification. That is the power of the Shepherd. However, that in and of itself is not the Shepherd's duty. What the Shepherd must quell is the source of all malevolence, the being who gives rise to the Hellions. The Devil. The Lord of Calamity. The, the Lord, Lord of Calamity? Calamity? Yes, this figure has been known by this name for countless centuries. 
I like how there's just a monolith Whenever right there. Whenever Hellions run rampant, this figure is always there. A lord of calamity, who begets Hellions with the overwhelming amount of malevolence he possesses. Given enough time, a lord of calamity can even permanently alter the world itself. Such is the calamity he brings. Wait. If I remember correctly, the celestial record said that a shepherd hasn't appeared for the last 200 years. And 200 years ago, there are records that the world was overcome by an unprecedented calamity. Could there be a connection? I understand. So, the Lord of Calamity is the source of all the malevolence, and it's the duty of the shepherd to find and put a stop to him. Kill the devil. That's all well and good, but where is this guy? For now, it is enough so long as you understand the duty of the shepherd. Huh? The answers you seek are those you must discover for yourself, Saray. Answers of your own that you will not regret. Stay true to yourself. Forget not your duty, but be not a slave to it either. Stay true to yourself, just like Grandpa said. Or Gramps. Answers of my own. And to that end, Saray. I know you want to ask about the effects the Lord of Calamity has on this world, and how Earth Dwellers and Seraphim go about their lives, but... I want you to discern these for yourself. It's true that I'm completely clueless when it comes to just about everything in the world. I want you to travel the world and discover all sorts of things. Only then can you take the answers you have found for yourself and make a stand against the Lord of Calamity. Hmm. It's not that tricky a concept. Pretty much boils down to, hey, Saray, let's take a trip around the world. <laughs> yes. yes. Got it. Got it. Anyhow, can we start by <laughs> investigating some food? Talk about calamity. I'm gonna pass out. Shall we head back to the inn? I don't want to have to carry our shepherd around. Mm -hmm. Sure. I'd like to see that. <laughs> Some guys are floating in the air because they can't see um, Mikleo carrying him. So I have a question. Is this game going to have the typical fantasy like, oh, we must go to like elemental temples or whatever, things like that? I wonder. Or what's like the, uh, you know, the little mini, mini boss goals before the, the end? It's all questions I want to know. Because right now it's pretty linear. I mean, I'm okay with linear. I actually really like linear, except I don't really know our goals right now. You know, other than we're just walking I around town. To travel the world. And now we're gonna travel I the world in this game. Be so important. It's kind of weird, but I can't say I'm not excited. <laughs> I think it's safe to say you're probably the most uh, sheltered shepherd in history. You really think so? Hey, Lila. What kind of people were the other shepherds? Huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I missed what you said. So, what were the other shepherds like? She doesn't want to answer that. I missed what you said. She doesn't want to Lila? answer that. Yes. Hiding something? <laughs> oh my, isn't this lovely? <laughs> it looks like she doesn't want to talk. I guess she doesn't, maybe, uh... Can I ask why you won't answer? Maybe the other one raped her. <laughs> I have forged an oath with myself. So long as I uphold that oath, I may wield certain extraordinary powers. However, the terms of the oath also prohibit... things. Mm hmm So wait, does that mean there are certain things you can't discuss? By powers, I assume you mean the power of purification? Look at the pretty butterfly. She can't talk about that. <laughs> You're kind of bad at this, aren't you? <laughs> Does it really matter? We're traveling the world to find these answers anyway, after all. So we need to go investigate each land's shepherd myths? Yes, yes, yes. That's a thousand percent correct. Shepherd myths? Can other seraphim besides you wield the power of purification? She can't talk we about that. We should get back before Saray collapses from hunger and we have to sneak <laughs> his body through the back alleys. We better get going. Chop chop. No time to waste. The food is probably ice cold by now. <laughs> okay, she's getting more of a personality. 
<laughs> good thing Suri is laughing. It's pretty good. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go run with Saray before he collapses. Oops. Where? Oh, shit. Found a discovery point. Oh wait, the freaking monolith from before. What am I doing? I yeah, that's my fault, guys. Sorry about that. I like pointed it out during the cutscene. Probably yelling at me or something. Can I get to it, or maybe it's something I already had. I like how he's starving in the story, but I'm still like running around. <sighs> Damn monolith. Maybe I already have it. Is that a monolith? Yes, it is a monolith. It appears to be wisdom pertaining to the battles. Blah, blah, blah. We know this. Uh, seraphic arts. Casting seraphic arts leaves you vulnerable to counterattack. But an enemy's hidden arts, which needs charging, will not stagger you. It will also have the casting speed of your seraphic art. Thus, if you spot an enemy casting a hidden art by instantly starting to cast a seraphic art, you can withstand attacks you would normally defend against. In other words, don't get caught sense. Wow. GG game. Good job. Holy shit. <laughs> don't get caught sans serif. <laughs> wow. These uh, <laughs> these writers are pretty genius. <laughs> Translation team and such. All right, let's move on. Sorry about that. I had to get that extra AP point because I got to use more skills, right? Because I'm, I'm pretty sure I was capped right now, so I don't think I have enough to get the next one, so I'm not even going to bother checking. Do, do, do. What was the thing I did? Oh, I already equipped some stuff I had on me before I started the episode, and I got like some pop-up saying like, I can like combine skills or something. Uh, which way am I going? Oh, Sharu in this moon symbol right here. In here, I believe. Yeah. Hello, you. I want Welcome foods. Back, kind shepherd. Your meal is waiting for you. Thanks a bunch. All right, let's eat. Nom nom nom. And then, oh, we are gonna get an eating scene. Yeah, Hope we finish. That was good. It really hit the spot. <laughs> You ate like a champ. It was delicious. You sure you don't want me to pay for it? Of course I am. Thanks so much, sir. Man, oh, nice people. I have something for you. A gift arrived from Lady Alicia. Oh, princess. Huh? What could it be? Money. <gasps> it's a letter. My sword. Bags oh. and clothes? Ah, perfect timing. Go get changed. You kind of smell. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. It's been three days. <laughs> Go take a bath. <laughs> it's just like a cowl that goes over his clothes. Not bad. How about it? It looks fantastic on you, Lord Shepherd. Lord Shepherd. It really does. So dashing. Oh man. I want one. It's the garb of the shepherd handed down from tradition in Lady Lake. You wear it well. So you can put lipstick on a pig. <laughs> just admit it, Mikleo. You're jealous. That's pretty fucked up what he just said. <laughs> so what's the letter all about? Well, let's see. Dear Saray. I was surprised that you fainted so suddenly. It's floating. I hope your rest at the end was rejuvenating. When I learned that you can communicate with seraphim, beings of divine nature who cannot be seen by ordinary people. When I saw you draw the sacred blade from the Lady of the Lake and quell the riot at the festival before my eyes. My heart leapt with joy, the likes of which I've never known. The only thing I can think of to tell you is a sincere, heartfelt thanks. I hope you do not find this strange. Though I do think that my true feelings do not come across well in the letter. I know that, as the shepherd, you are soon to embark on a journey to save the world. Mm -hmm. But once you are awake, I would like you to come and visit me at my home. P.S. Did you have a chance to try on the clothes I got for you? Yes. They're modeled after the traditional garb of the legendary shepherd. I hope they are to your liking. My, what a kind-hearted young woman. Yeah, seriously. I should be the one who's thanking her. Why not do it in person, then? But that's what it says. Let's Good go. Idea. Let's move. 
I like how not only does he now have like Come fed let me rotate again, this for a second. Not only does can I not zoom in or something? Come on. <laughs> yeah, that, I guess whoa shit. Automatically moved me. I was like, oh I can abuse the camera, but nope. Made me leave right away. Oh god, these voices. Hey, these offer more mobility than I thought. Yeah, let me let me let me explain something here. I like how his ears have the feathers, now it's around his neck, and his sword has it. As well as the glove. I'm just a feather man. <laughs> Alright, where do I go here? Uh, back to the sanctuary, I'm guessing? Or noble district. It's one of the two. I might just go to the noble district. It says at her home, so perhaps it's that way? Was it down here? No, it's one more. Keep on- whoops, not me press that. I checked no- oh, there's just NPCs talking around. Well, this looks pretty cool. Now I got a swing. Swing now, little cloak. About the shepherd. Yeah, especially because I'm fucking running around everywhere. Dragon lives up on Spirit Crest. Uh oh, that's a new boss, isn't it? I believe this was the way for Noble District anyway, so hopefully. Does it say, give Alicia your thanks? I think it's gonna be over here. Considering this Noble District. Yep, I see a star. Uh, should I talk to these NPCs? Why not? I'll, I'll chat with this one right here. What do you say? Is it really true that a new shepherd was found at the Sacred Blade Festival and ran for the um I'm right here guys. Thanks for uh, paying attention. Alright, let me take this route. Like last time. But before the guards would let me in, I think. Yep, here we go. Oh. What's going on? Ah, the shepherd. Have you need of Lord Alicia? She's on the terrace as we speak. Hmm. Thanks, I'll see if I can find her. She, he, mm. he just told you where you can find her. <laughs> Even though, you know, for me, it's gonna be like, I don't know where it is, except for there's a star on the minimap to tell me where. Saray, you came. Alicia. The shepherd's garb looks wonderful on you. Thanks. <laughs> Some fine lipstick on that pig. Yes, Mick Leo. We all know your opinion. <laughs> she can't see him. Nice. Pigs are nice. I, uh, I take it there's a seraph present with you? Yes. <laughs> if I told you there was, would you believe me? To be honest, up until the events that took place at the Sacred Blade Festival this year, I wouldn't have. But even from the moment we met, I could tell... How can I put it? There was something. Yeah, like living in a village by yourself. Something herself. different about you. Uh, <laughs> well, she's right, you know. <laughs> what is he pushing? <laughs> Can't see. Right here is a seraph. His name is Miklio. What if she like tries to touch him? Please, find it in your grace to forgive my rudeness up until now, Seraph McLeo. <laughs> Cute. Rudeness? You've never struck me as rude. Oh, he's blushing. He says you've never done anything to offend him. And this here is Lila. She's the one everyone calls the Lady of the Lake. Even though you can't see her. I truly believe in my heart that you were meant to become the shepherd. Whereas I, I mean all of us here in the city, can be standing right next to Seraphim. And still not know. And the bad guys that are like not quite true. disguised as She people. can't hear you. <laughs> Saray, try taking Alicia's hand in your own. Can I make her see people? Oh, sure. Alicia, give me your hand. Like this? Testing, testing. <laughs> check one, check two. Can you hear me? Hello? Doesn't look like it. Damn. Hmm. Okay then. Saray, try closing your eyes. Testing, testing. Alicia, 
Can you hear me now? I guess it doesn't work like that. It's still no good. <laughs> this time, close your eyes and also hold your breath. God damn it. <laughs> How many things we're gonna try? <laughs> Oh, I can shit. hear it. Another woman's voice. Really? <laughs> He's holding his breath. Alicia, we seraphim are able to see right into the very hearts of humans. Remember to show gratitude to all things. It is in exchange for this gratitude that we offer our blessings. No matter the circumstances, never neglect the Seraphim, or your heart shall turn to malevolence, and this in turn shall bring calamity. Fear not, Alicia. We have indeed seen your gratitude for ourselves. Saray, <laughs> uh. one more time. <laughs> yeah. Isn't there a better way to do this? <laughs> Holding your breath. I'm afraid this is the only method we have for now. Once you've grown more accustomed to my power and have amassed more experience as both a vessel and a shepherd, I believe such a strict sensory block will not be required. So, hmm. does that mean once I do grow stronger as a shepherd, everyone will be able to hear the seraphim? As for Alicia, she already possessed a natural resonance from birth. Though nowhere near as much as you, Saray. I see. Looks like it's not that simple. Regardless, I was able to have a conversation with her. I now have no doubts that the Seraphim do indeed live among us. Yay! <laughs> Gets you She's excited. blushing. Yes! Feels Japanese over like Doki Doki. <laughs> the legends are no mere fairy tales. I like got his little bookmarks in them. His favorite pages. Okay, Alicia, we're going to stay in town for a while yet. Let me know if you need anything. Take care. I will. You I don't too. like seeing these little floating shadowy things. I'm sorry. I feel like we have to take care of something. Looks like our explorer is all fired up. <laughs> oh, she went back in me. Okay. That sounds really weird. Speak of them? So, Mikli, what's our plan of attack? <clears throat> I say we go talk around these t or some of these t townsfolk and places big. It won't take us long to find out what we need to know. What else? Uh, what other kind of hellions are there? Um, I could do without encountering turtle hellions though. I bet their shells would be tough to crack. Yep, sounds like a good defense rating thing. All right, so it looks like I just leave now. Oops, wrong button. What was this one? There you go. Just wanted to uh, pan the camera faster. <laughs> what? How did you know what I was thinking about, Mikleo? Didn't I tell you I wasn't gonna let you go off by yourself? So what's the plan? I wish I could go see Gramps again. Let's have another look around town. There's gotta be a clue around here somewhere. Okay. Even though they, they knew I would have to <laughs> travel a lot. What are you giggling at? Whatever. It's cool though, at least. Like, whatever we fight, we have backup. I mean, like, these spirits. <laughs> um, Is there actually a goal we have, or is it just like... Okay, Central District, sure, why not? I guess if I explore, I could find, like, um, monoliths and things. But maybe later on, after we done all the main storylines, I'll come back here and just run around for a while and see what I can find, guys. I think that'll be the plan. Let's see here. Oop. Actually, I think, um... Actually, no. I'll do a little bit longer. There's a star right here in the middle. I'll go on for a few more minutes. Or at least until I see another save point. Do do do. Which I know there are somewhere, I just don't remember where. Hello, man. I speak with you. Hey, it's a guy who sold me the pipe. Oh yeah, it's Rose. I forgot about her. Oh yeah, I've heard about you. Oh god, these voices. If we were to take, if we were to take that pipe for you for just a hundred or a thousand gold, we'd look like some serious credibility issues. We don't want that. Uh, we prepared a hefty sum in addition for what, or for you in there in that box. Take it. Sweet. A 
ten gallon hat. Headgear of a wild but nice guy. May may include bullet holes, oh man. It's not quite as swanky as that pipe of yours, but it's got a vintage look I'm sure you'll dig. Is this this costume? Hopefully you do business with this again. Yay! Come on talk to her. What? You're the one who's having problems with the festival? What are you talking about? Um I feel like Lady of the Lake Sanctuary. Oh, they're all colored like that. Where do I go? Explore Lady Lake once again, so I guess just look everywhere. Alright. Um, can I enter this area? Will they let me? I, I saw an herb, guys. I just don't want to get it. Let's see. Oh, this is the room where I was earlier. Oh, there's a save point. Alright, guys. I think I'm going to stop the episode here. We've been going for like 25 minutes. So thank you very much for watching, guys. We will continue next time with more Tales of Zestiria. There we go. Aw. I tried to get the camera all nice, but nope. There you go. Look at all freaking Soray looking badass and shit. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and all that jazz. And I'll see you guys next time with more Tales of Zestiria. Later.